So today we're going to use uh, the force sensor plugged into port B of the hub and a motor plugged into port A to demonstrate how we can press the sensor. The harder we press it, the faster the motor is going to go. So we're going to use one of the blocks from the control tab on the side, not the events tab, but the control tab, and the one that says forever. It's like a, a looping block and inside there we're going to put the speed, so we're going to set the speed of the motor. We're going to use one of those green blocks from the operators tab that has two ovals and an asterisk in the middle. And inside the first oval, we're going to grab one of the sensor blocks, which has a rounded edge, and it says pressure is in percentages. We're going to multiply by 10 because the pressure on these four sensors is kind of in stages of a scale of 1 to 10. You just got to check to see on your actual coding on the actual um, connection tab that your sensor is on the force setting and then if, instead of percentages I need to make it Newtons because a Newton is basically a scale of 1 to 10 and it'll detect that 10 Newtons is like a kilogram of pressure so now when I press it it multiplies those Newtons by 10 and it gives you a speed of maybe 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60% 60%, depending on how hard you press it but sometimes you might want to make it display a bit more interestingly by changing the lights on the hub. So you can grab a when program starts from the events tab and then put another forever loop in there. And we're going to grab one that writes something on the screen. So grab the purple block from the lights and put it there. Instead of writing hello, we're going to duplicate the actual block that we used previously by um, right clicking on it or holding it down on the tablet, drag it down and put it inside the block. So now the pressure will be displayed on the actual hub. And you'll notice now when I press play that the number two, three, four, five, six, seven, that sort of thing are displayed because that's how many Newtons are being um, received. Okay, so you can do that. And if you press it full, you see there's 10 Newtons there. And then multiply by 10 in that green block up the top there. So that, that means it's how fast it goes out of 100. But we can actually see some of this data on a graph, which is pretty interesting. Down the bottom left on your menu, there's actually an opportunity to add some more blocks to your program. So you can choose down the bottom left. You probably know this. We're going to grab another when program starts. But down the bottom left, we're going to grab... Um, some line graph blocks. So if you click down the very bottom left, you'll see that there's plenty of options to add lots of different blocks. Grab the line graph one by putting a tick in the box. And then you can um, choose something like this to start the uh, little stack here. You can grab some reset the graph timer and reset the actual line graph itself. Clear the graph. And then we'll grab another forever block. Put that in there. And inside there, we're going to get to start plotting points on this graph. So on the line graph, grab the one that says plot um, zero. But instead of the zero, we're going to duplicate that block again and put it inside there. Duplicate it by holding it down or right clicking on it. So now it's going to, now it's going to plot the Newtons on the graph. And you might want it to go full screen. I like it to go full screen when I'm showing a graph, but I'll put it in there. But I think that's a mistake. You've got to put it outside of there. You've got to put it outside the loop so it doesn't keep showing the graph. And press play, and you, you'd think it might start working. So if I press play now, and when I press the button down, you'll see that the Newtons are displayed on the hub, but they're not on the screen at the moment. But when I actually stop the program, you'll see that they're displayed on the screen, which is pretty cool. But you might want to see a live feed. Do you want to see it live? Then we can stream it. If you go back to the original screen, you can go down the bottom and click on your program number and change it from download to streaming. And now, when you press play, you need to press play first. It won't just work. You've got to press play. It will run the code, and it'll have live plotting of all the different uh, amounts of Newtons that you accumulate over a given time. You'll see the times down the bottom and you can even see a minimum and maximum number of Newtons pressed and then even an average which is quite interesting as well. And when you've finished playing it then I mean it'll keep going for a long time forever. It'll scroll but once you're done it'll display it on the screen and you can actually change the look of the graph if you wanted to. I like this look because it shows you the duration of every press as well not just uh, how hard you pressed it. 
there's a scatter graph which will do your head in but um, I think I like this one the best or the original one that we saw when we first looked at it there's lots of options you can play with it you can hover the mouse over and you can see lots of different um, data there for you to play with so I'm hoping that you really enjoyed playing with the four sense with me and um, if you can think of some practical implications of how you could use it in a classroom then why not write it in the comments because I'm sure some of you come up with some good ideas of how you could use this in the classroom. Put it in the comments and please like and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos.